Hey guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, methane, which is CH4. So here we go. Uh, methane comes with, you got CH4, and in terms of electrons you have uh, four electrons from the carbon, plus four times one electron from each hydrogen. That's going to give us a total of eight valence electrons. Now, because this molecule has uh, hydrogens, we can't really do the trick that I typically do with so subtracting out the eight. So, as you can tell, the carbon is going to be the central atom, and that's the case where we'll put most organic molecules. So, we're going to go ahead and put the carbon here, and there's four hydrogens, so we can just put one H there, H there, H there, H there. So now let's go ahead and connect them all with single bonds. And since each bond has two electrons, that's two, four, six, and eight electrons, which is the total that we had here. So this is actually going to be the, the entire structure. This is it. And if you notice, hydrogen has two electrons, which is what it's supposed to have. And the carbon has the full octet with eight. So we can go ahead and check the formal charges if you want, just to show you. So the formal charge on, say, the carbon, remember, formal charge is number of valence brought in, which is four, minus the number of bonds around it, one, two, three, four, minus the number of unpaired or unbonding electrons, non-bonding electrons, which is zero, and that's going to give us zero. And the formal charge for the hydrogens, and notice that they're all going to be the same since they all have the same setup. Number of valence brought in, one, minus number of bonds for each hydrogen, just one, minus number of unbonding or non-bonding electrons, zero, and that's also zero. So that's going to be exactly what we're looking for. Now, in this case, we can actually describe the molecular shape of this compound. Notice, because there's the C in the center and four atoms attached to it, that's going to be similar to the AX4 shape, and that is a tetra so that's going to be the shape of this uh, organic molecule, organic compound. And um, coming along with this shape, the bond angles, they are 109.5 degrees ideally. And the, uh, the hybridization of the center, the, uh, this, the carbon atom, because it has four bonding sites, it's going to have four. It's going to need four orbitals, so it's going to be sp3 hybrid. And as is the case with most organic molecules, it's going to be nonpolar because each hydrogen will cancel out their net dipole moment. Will sum up to zero because of the um, electric electronegativity is the same for each hydrogen. So they're going to end up canceling each other out, causing this organic molecule to be nonpolar. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. If you want to see a specific uh, compound or molecule done in the video, just send me a message, post it in the comments, and I'll try to get it up there as soon as possible. Thank you, and uh, thanks for watching.